Right, we're here with Walter Schwabe from Fuse Logic TV. Why don't you explain a little bit about what your company does and uh, what y'all are all about? Well, Fuse Logic TV is a live web TV producer. We're a network essentially. What we do is we enable organizations to create their own talk shows or their own content that we stream out live and then create uh, on demand viewership uh, afterwards. And how popular has it been so far? Well, you know what? It's growing in popularity. We're creating content distribution agreements and we're expanding into new markets all the time, so it's growing. It's early days. Lots of shows are being launched like this month, as a matter of fact. So lots of stuff is coming online as we go forward, so it's a building process for sure. And what, is, what are the steps that someone who wants to be wants to have a show, what do they go through to uh, get on Yell's Network? Well, the first thing is to realize that there's actually an opportunity to have their own show. Most people don't wake up and say, I'd like my own show. Um, so once they wrap their head around the fact that they could communicate with their target audience in this way, then it's about creating a format, some scripting around that, helping them understand what their messaging is, what their business objectives are, and then pulling that all together. What are the differences between going to someone like y'all or using a flip cam like we're using right now and just putting it up on Ustream or YouTube? Well, that's a great question. So we, we aim for a little bit higher production value than that, than that type of formatting. Um, we definitely integrate Skype calls, for example, where people do stand in front of their webcams to, or sit in front of their webcams to, to be interviewed. But essentially, though, what we're looking to do is create a, a little bit higher production value than that. Certainly, we're not in the millions of dollars production area. We're below that. But uh, we feel that there's a large underserved market there. And what, uh, where do you, what do you see as the next step in this, uh, in this line of television? Well, you know, interesting, traditional broadcasting is looking for ways to integrate social into what they're already doing. We've had to discover that to begin with. Our background is actually in social uh, since 2004 when it was only blogs. So we've taken all of those uh, under experience and under understandings and strategies and now we're applying them to this live streaming broadcasting situation. So we've got lots of interaction, engagement, questions being answered by hosts uh, live. And, and that's different than what traditional is sort of uh, doing today, but they're striving to try to bring those two together. So it's kind of interesting. We're coming at this problem from two different directions. And what, what's it going to take to meet in the middle for a traditional broadcast to meet with the live social aspect? Of well, this? for traditional broadcast to kind of go that way, they have to break down some of the barriers and silos and, and the control factor. Uh, executives are often uh, the ones who make the decisions but the people who are actually trying to get them to be more interactive and engaging with their audiences are reporting to people to, who don't always understand the environment that they're in and the reality of it. So they're holding on to those own control mechanisms. And unfortunately, that's, that's being detrimental to them right now. But I see it shifting. Uh, here at South by Southwest, there's a lot of discussion about they're really trying to figure that out. What's your best advice for someone who wants to host a show, what, what do you look for in a, in a good host? Well, you have to be comfortable on camera. It, you know, you have to be willing to at least uh, be trainable to, to, to develop your personality on camera, find your voice on camera, and, and do the prep work. But ultimately, anybody uh, has the opportunity to be their host of their very own show. They just have to believe in themselves to do it.